How's it going everyone? Welcome to Graham Games. I'm playing the brand new title Skip Chaser, which is a new roguelite twin stick shooter from the developer Pony Wolf. It comes out this Tuesday, so the 21st. It'll be an early access title, and this is just a quick early preview of what we have so far. There's three acts planned for the game at least. Uh, the pod's out of control, you go crash landing on the earth. Right now in the early access there's only one act available, but it's procedurally generated landscapes and dungeons, procedurally generated enemies, and so even though there's only the one act available, the developer claims they expect there to be hours of gameplay available for players, so it'll be something worth checking out right away. The escape pod's wrecked. Yeah, not, not likely that you're getting off of here anytime soon, buddy. Sorry about that. These pots contain treasure. It could be valuable in the future. Wow, I'd, my gun must not be that strong. It took a couple shots to, to blast through there. So this isn't actually my first time playing the game. I have poodled around with it a little bit, just slightly earlier, just to test things out a little. Nice gun. Don't let it overheat. So you can... Uh, if it does, you can shoot. You can't shoot until it cools off. You can see in the top left there, there's a little, a little red uh, thing that starts heating up the more I shoot. Hey, I didn't realize my guns had kickback. I, I start like shooting myself backwards the more I shoot. So this game was originally called The Mimic, and it was made during a Ludum Dare. Switch weapons, stick to functional, something or other, check your default controls. He's just telling me I have two different weapons here. One of the most exciting parts of the game, actually, is a special loot system where you can craft your own weapons. You'll find unique, like, stocks, scopes, barrels, magazines of the guns that are diff different modifiers, and you build your own gun to give it different properties. And so that's one of the more exciting parts of the game. We use mines to keep these space rats from entering our towns. It's pretty effective, it appears. You could also just start shooting them. My rifle can turn those rats into lunch meat. Come on, come on. Terrible, terrible aiming. I'm just trying to shoot the stupid thing. God, why is he so hard to shoot? Fuck. Alright, switch into the Uzi. There you go. Suck on that, you stupid rat. And so right now it is just a single player game. In the future they are planning on adding local co-op. And so I think I'd really like to come back to it and play it with two players. But for now I'll play around with the first act by myself. Our town is a den of corruption. And you, Skip Chaser, have done nothing to help. I mean, cut me a little slack. I just crashed on your planet, like, very, very recently. Like, I, 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 I would help if I could. This town seems familiar. Have I been here before? Well, I have, because I have played this very recently, but couldn't tell you, Skip Chaser. Welcome, Skip Chaser. I assume you're looking for bounty work? Head south to the bar and you'll find what you seek. Is uh, going to shoot one of these llamas? Seem to get little blood spectacles flying off. This must be some sort of cere ceremonial fountain. Don't drink out of it. What? I, just like a quick little sip? Maybe it gives you like special powers or something? Just like a, a tiny little drink? I've been running around all day with this this stifling helmet on. I, I would I would love a quick drink. It's weird that you can jump in like an isometric style game. It's not very often that these games are built in a way that there's like layers of things to jump up on. So it could be interesting an interesting layer to add to things. Hello, bounty hunter. Are you the best they could do? My brother waits inside the bar. He's your commissary. Well, I don't even know if I meant to come here. I feel like I just crashed. The private residence. I don't seem to be able to enter it right now. Certain areas are locked, and so I don't know if they're locked until I complete a certain mission or just locked because it's early access and everything's not quite in the game yet. Blue Lodge can't interact with it. Watch where you're walking. Well, you watch where you're farming. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry if I'm ruining your crops. I probably probably should care about the food supply on this planet. Something, something, endless destruction, something, something. Wow, he's a he's a disturbed dude. So here's a quick area where you can you can access the workbench, the weapon and armor crafting and skip chaser are work in progress. And actually, I should have nothing. This is just because I have played around with the game a little bit. I do have a few things that I can show off. And so maybe that's, maybe that's for the best. I can show you guys different things here. So let me see. First of all, you can switch between your different blueprints. I'm going to build my, my bigger weapon first, I suppose. I have to use the basic receiver because that's all I have. There's the stock. And then I have this other one that just says friends forever. And so I I'll use that just because, even though I don't think it's going to do anything. The viral scope compensates... I really wish that didn't that didn't fade away when I'm trying to read it. Compensates for the viral arc, which I don't really know what that means, but I'm going to go ahead and throw it on there anyways. 
high damage with a low fire rate. So right now my damage is 15 and my rate is 5. I didn't even, I actually didn't lose any off of that, so that's not too shabby. Shoot twice as fast, high accuracy, barrel with a kick. I'm going to go with shoots fast. So rate of fire up to 4, damage up to 27, looking pretty good. Quick to overheat mag, uh, small but extra damage, plasma cooled ammo. Oh, but it's got poison, it's filled with poison. There's three elements in the game, fire, cryo, and bio, but it's like fire, ice, and, and poison. Uh, I think I'm going to put a regular magazine in there. Actually, I'm not really sure exactly... I don't think magazines have a direct effect. You know, I have damage, weight, accuracy, rate of fire, and I just have overheating. I don't think a magazine... The magazine isn't actually a measure of how many bullets are in your gun. And I'll, I'll leave my other weapon as just standard. So that's just a quick example of how you can modify your weapon, and it opens up a lot of possibilities. You can you can do a lot with with the different weapon pieces and everything. So I think that's one of the more exciting mechanics of the game. There's a watchtower. Ooh, I don't even get to see what that one is. And the bar where I can go talk to the guys looking for my contract here. Great. I'm a very grumbly hero. There's a secret passage behind the back of the bar. It will lead you to the catacombs below the city. Recover your weapon, our weapon blueprints and we'll share them with you blueprints you say I'm in so right now I only have the two blueprints I have for my bigger gun and my little gun which I think it zooms in because it has less range or something or I'm not really sure why it does that but it's kind of neat and I I'm looking forward to when I can start unlocking different types of weapons like possibly more deadly of weapons uh, what he said doesn't work when I didn't hear this guy watch it human you are human right it's like because he just meant watch it what are some of these guys? Crime Lord? I think he's just a legend to keep the kids in school. For all I know, you could be the Crime Lord. Oh, it's, that guy's got two heads. I guess there's some weird aliens in this in this planet. Humans must not be all that common. Some really crotchety robots, though. They're, that's very rude. Drink or leave, human. What are you, then? I guess that guy's not human? Alright, so interesting to know. I'm human. There are humanoid aliens in the area. That's such a it's a cool little cutscene. Very, very stylistic. I like it. So finders fees, the current mission I'm running, 0% complete. And hey, that, that, that guy was already hurt, so I'm not sure exactly what he did. He must have uh, accidentally stepped on a mine. You can see this, this here that I'm shooting at. Those are the mines. There's a cryo tank I can shoot to, to sh splash poison damage around. I might as well use the weapon I modified it, modified so I can, you know, make use of my modifications. There are the human, humanoid monster enemies who who will run at you. So even though they're procedurally generated, they do have um, like predictable behaviors. Like these guys will actually shoot at you, and uh, the robots will just kind of run straight at, like walk at you, like a Terminator. So that just gives me some extra money. You just find stuff in chests. The uh, the robots will walk right at you, kind of Terminator style, and if they blow up on you, they do quite a bit of damage. And then there's also these rat-type creatures, which will just... They have no ranged attacks or anything. They'll just run straight at you, usually quite quickly. <laughs> oh, shit, I couldn't quite get him, get him caught in the blast there. But I do like to try and shoot as many pots as I can because I, I want the money. Money is very useful if you die. You you have to spend it to respawn, and the less money you have, the further back you have to respawn. So right now I'm I'm conducting a mission, right? And so if I don't have enough money, if I, if I do have enough money, I can respawn in the same like room that I died in. If I have not enough money, I have to respawn at the beginning of the mission, and I have to re-kill everything. Oh shit! I didn't realize how close I was to dying. And if I have even less money, like zero money, it's free to respawn at my ship. Which I don't know how that works. I guess it would just be where the ship was. Because <laughs> it's certainly not there anymore. But I, 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 it's worthwhile to try and keep or gather as much money as you can so you can have a good respawn. Shit, I guess that was the only health pack remaining on the levels. Now, now I gotta go into level 2 quite injured. That was just really lucky to find health right away like that. Large plasma mag. So there's a new new weapon modifier that I can make use I can make use of at some point. I believe I have to get back to the workbench though. I can't actually like do it on the fly, which is maybe too bad. I should it's it's really hard for this weapon to overheat. Like look how slowly that bar is filling up. So I should probably 
Like, I, I keep shooting things like this, like a low, a slow paced out individual shot. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't mean to set all of that off. That almost killed me. I should really just hold down and just start firing because I, I it's very unlikely that I'm going to eat overheat this gun based on the uh, the modifiers I have on it and everything right now. Oh, look at that dummy. He's just walking right into landmines. He's making my job a lot easier, actually. And I think when robots blow up on each other, they hurt each other. So it's a, it's a good way to knock away a lot of robots is when they start clustering around each other. I got my floaty, handy, like, helper guy, but he doesn't really seem to do much for me. He just... He's had a, he's made a few comments, but he doesn't really say anything. I I wish that you could like control where the grenades went by putting the cursor in front of you and then throwing the grenade. You always seem to lob it the same amount of distance. So I kind of wish I had a little bit more control over that. Maybe it's something they'll adjust in the future. So I'm on the second of three floors. Oh, another gun piece. That's nice. The snub nose. I'll have to look at that later and see what kind of what kind of new things that that adds. So I've only played through as far as this first mission, and I died like a solid, ooh, I don't know, three, four times trying to do it my first time around. I'm hoping I can do it in one life this time. <laughs> I got my fingers crossed. It would be nice to be able to show off a little bit. And, but I, 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 I just want to say that in case people are seeing this thinking this game looks like it's a little too easy. Because you, I, I've just started to get used to the different enemy types and everything. Fuck, I set myself on fire, so I'm, I'm taking extra damage there. I've gotten a little bit used to it, and so I know to not get too close to robots, despite having just done that and, you know, paying the consequence for it. So I, I just want it to be clear that the game may appear easy, and on a scale it kind of is to begin with. It's, it's a very slow difficulty curve. And then all of a sudden there's a boss room, which I think I will be in next, that is incredibly difficult. And so it eases you in and then spikes, like a, a hard spike up to difficulty. I think it takes 1500 to respawn in the same room. So I'm hoping I have enough money that probably when, not if, when I die in this room, I'll be able to respawn. I know some guys are going to run at me from there. I'm going to start whipping grenades. If I can just get these guys to come at me like one at a time... Oh, nice. I think a couple of those grenades landed, like, at least. And so that, that'll that help out a lot. Shit, I, there's some chests at the top here. I gotta try and grab some health. Fuck, grenades are helpful, but not, not what I need right now. Shit. Damn it. And so I don't know if I respawn, if all of those guys come back or not. It's not, like, a checkpoint. Like, I don't get those grenades back or anything. I'm, I'm stuck with what I got. I really hope... This is a cool sequence. I like this. The respawning thing. It's, it's sweet. It's so simplistic, uh, just like a very basic skeleton and everything, but I, I really like how they did it. Fuck, I think I think all the enemies came back, so that makes this really difficult, actually. Son of a bitch, fuck off. That, that got overwhelming really quickly. So you can see here, 1500 respawn here, I can't do that. 500 beginning of the mission, zero dollars back at the ship. It's mission one, the mission and the ship are like no different. I, I just have to run the five feet through town because it actually puts me all the way back at the bar. So I'm just going to save my money. Fuck it. Right now you can just find health in those chests and like and grenades and, you know, weapons and stuff. Money too. It'd be nice if maybe you could find a shield because right now, it, you know, I could cap out at that hundred, which really doesn't end up being a ton of health considering how quickly that room of guys seems to take me out. So... Being able to up your health over 100 seems like it would be really helpful. Oh, you know what? When I look under my health there, I think I do have a shield. It's just so puny and weak and I can't seem to make it better. <laughs> Alright, here's hoping this battle goes a little bit more smoothly this time. Fire off a couple quick grenades. Fuck. Can't seem to, can't seem to catch those guys with that. Alright, but if I take them on one at a time here, might be okay. Nice, okay, they didn't even get a shot off on me. That went really well. Fire fire a grenade or two. Oh yeah, I managed to managed to catch that guy in the blast there. Shit, shit, that guy did a lot of damage. Okay, I got the big bad to worry about now. If I can get a couple well placed grenades. Oh shit! Oh shit, I didn't know there was more guys running around. No! Oh, I died, but I I got him, I killed him. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, respawn right here. We can do this. 
That went really well. It's it's gonna be hard to do better than that. Oh, see, that guy blasted my shield away, but didn't manage to crack into my health just yet. Oh, shit. I wasted too many grenades on the first attempt here. Now I'm stuck with nothing. Oh, son of a bitch. Come on. Oh, man, I have just enough coins to do a quick reset if this doesn't go well. But I just gotta be so cautious, I think. Come on, man. Nice. All right, I... I don't know if I outranged these guys or if he just kind of screwed up a little bit there. Oh, baby. Get a couple good grenades. Oh, sweet. I'm, I might be able to take out the main thing. All right, so once you take out the boss, you can you can teleport yourself back to the bar nice and quickly here. You have returned. Thank you, human. Take these plans to enhance your weapon with our ancient knowledge. Our teleporter will bring you back to your spacecraft. Ancient gun gun knowledge. Awesome sauce. I agree with that, that is pretty awesome. There you have it guys, there's my introduction to Skip Chaser. I will try to play through the first act if I can, if you guys are enjoying it, but I'm really looking forward to when co-op gets added, because I think it'll be so fun with two people running around just trying, trying very hard to not blow each other up and everything, I think there's a lot of potential for that in this game. So thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you again soon.